This morning, we're learning about what life in space could look like in the future. Joining me this morning is Sana Sharma, the co-founder and chief design officer at Aurelia Institute. Thanks so much for being here, Sana. Thank you for having me. Well, this new space habitat pavilion is now open at the Museum of Flight in Seattle. What goes into the design and the creation of this type of habitat? Yeah, um, at Aurelia Institute, we have been working on a new way to design and build for space. It's called Tesserae. And the way it works is that we've designed a series of tiles that can stack flat into the payload fairing of a rocket, be sent into orbit, and then self-assemble using electro-permanent magnets into a large sort of soccer ball shape, a truncated icosahedron. So the idea is that you can reconfigure and adapt and build these structures um, without the need for an EVA or a spacewalk or human intervention. Um, the way we've developed and designed that is at a couple of different scales. And so we've been working on what we call space-worthy hardware, so miniature versions of these tiles that work in orbit, um, that we've had the opportunity to test in the International Space Station. Wow. But at the same time, we've been working on a full-scale mock-up of what it would look like to live in this structure so that we can design not only the technical aspects of what it looks like to build this kind of habitat, but what it's actually going to feel like to live and call a space like this home. That's incredible. So if people go to the museum for the Home Beyond Earth exhibit, what will they experience? Yeah, um, we've had the great fortune of working with the Seattle Museum of Flight in bringing both our space flight hardware as well as this full-scale mock-up to the museum. And so if they go and visit the exhibition, they'll be able to see the hardware that we've sent to the International Space Station. It's about the size of my hand, mm -hmm. as well as this full 25-foot dome. Um, inside, we're telling a story about what home in space might look like if we have a little bit more real estate, if it feels like it's you know, you're not living at the office while living um, in space. We've designed a zero-g kitchen, wow. an algae stained glass window, uh, a zero-g couch that looks a little bit like an anemone. <laughs> um, various elements that we've been experimenting with in terms of what it might look like to use zero G as a new way to design comfortable living experiences in space. And it really what this sounds like is that the future of what a space habitat could be like is just really evolving constantly. Yes, I think the name of the game for us is modularity. We're hoping to build not only one module but have a series of them sort of attach and grow over time to fit the needs of an evolving and growing crew. Wow. All right. Well, Sana, thanks so much for being here. For a link directly to the exhibit's page and information about tickets, just text the word SPACE to 206-448-4545. We'll be right back.